today we are trying something a little different. Um, we have this overgrown area here that's actually right next to the goat pen. And in the past, we've just um, tethered the goats up and let them eat a lot of this down. When we first got here, this was all the area where I'm standing, which is like this really pretty yard area, um, was all shoulder high brush and grass. Um, and this whole area here um, behind us was all massive raspberries. So massive that we couldn't actually get to them. And um, so we've just, in the past few years, tethered our goats out so that um, they can um, eat all that down. And it's right next to the goat pen, um, the summer goat house, everything. So it's worked out really well. And um, instead of tethering them, um, we wanna try using this um, electro netting fence. Our goats are um, kept in by electric fence all the time. They're big, so we don't really need to worry about like little tiny goats getting out. Um, but I do worry that it's not gonna be enough of a shock for them. Um, if it's just something that, I don't know. I don't know, because I know how many people say normal electric fence won't keep your goats in. So I'm worried about that. But we're gonna try it. We're here. Um, we have nothing, I'm working, the kids are outside, so there's really no better time to try it. So um, Sydney, since the goats are hers, is putting this um, electro net, air, or this electro braid, it's not even a braid, it's a rope. Um, it's made for temporary, temporary and rotational grazing. I'll show you in a sec. Um, so she's putting that up in this area so that the goats can get in there and hopefully eat that down and not get out in the rest of the area. If they do, it's not that big of a deal. They're easy to catch. They, they like to go up to our house when they get, when they get out. Um, so let me show you what she's doing. Okay, so over here she has the first, obviously she's got the fence unplugged right now, but she's got the first line, top line going and she's going over to this She's gonna put in another few step-in posts there. She's just getting these run right now while I'm out here so I can help her and explain to her what to do. And then she weed whacked this path through here um, so that it doesn't short out the fence. And um, so then it has a nice little area and we don't need to worry about the fence not working because then they for sure will walk right through it. Um, we were gonna go down because we made a path over here we were gonna go down there, because then that would be super easy, but these raspberries are really starting to grow up really well. And um, so these will these have a path all around them. So we have a really nice raspberry patch here. We've got one right there. Um, we have them everywhere, but this was a really, a really good one and they're looking really healthy. Look at, we've got buds. Um, so I kind of wanted to keep this nice big section. So um, she's got two lines run, we're gonna do four, and um, we will keep you guys posted on how it works. You gonna get shot? I need you to go stand at the electric fence and plug it in when I tell you to, Beck, okay? They're like, oh yeah, let me know. Yep. Mr. Green, Mr. Blue. Hey, boys. I told you. Boys, to come in. you gotta follow Sid. Come on. Here, I'll hold this one. Hey. I'll hold Mr. Green. Okay. Happy goats. No, not, don't. Not yet. We got to hook it up first. Okay, good. Oh, honey, you got to pull that. 
Unplug it for a second. Whole bottom. It's unplugged? Okay. Wrap it around it a couple of times if you need to so it stays snug. Okay, thanks for letting us know. Okay, we'll tighten it right there. Okay, plug it in. Yay! Okay, thank you. So if you guys see back here, see how dense that brush is? That's how dense this whole area was. And um, with the goats being in there, all the trees are trimmed, all the brush is mostly down. Um, they kind of get bored or sick of certain um, things. And so, um, that's why they're excited about this is because it's something new um, so you'll see like a lot of the raspberries are growing back and that's okay um, so it's it's all getting low and maintainable so now that it's so low and they did this guys in like a week week and a half um, they had it like this and then we've been throwing in trees from other areas of our property that we've been cleaning in here so that they can still have stuff to graze on we throw it in from the back field since we've got a driveway back there and um, then it makes them have to walk a little bit more otherwise they'll just lay down and not really do much they're pretty lazy so this will just a few days in here we won't keep them in here at night we'll just keep them in here during the day while we're here at the farm and it will um, it'll get this so that it's all low like that can't wait until we move them Okay. I don't know. You have to test her. I don't know, Sid. Touch it and find out. Is it clicking? Okay, people. So, update. Guess what happened? Well, put the goats in. We tested the electric fence. And it doesn't work. So, I got a scissors and I'm cutting down the grass. But at least the goats are in and so far they're happy and they're not gonna try to get out anytime soon. That I know of. Hopefully they don't get out anytime soon. Cause that will just be another thing. They're easy to catch. It's just that they're so big. Hopefully this works and stays working. Hey, what you doing? How's that working out for you? Huh? Huh, Miles? How's that working out for you? Well, that's really weird. Cause that doesn't... What? That works. It works. I'm... It works. I totally just touched it. 
Hey, kitty. I got shocked and I didn't even think I was touching it. So at least it wasn't the high tensile part. But it works. I'd say they got a little full today. Mr. Green's over there just laying down. These gnats are horrible. So the goats have eaten down quite a bit. Mr. Blue's looking a little chunky. Aren't you? Mr. Green's over there taking a nap, got a mouthful, chewing. But man, did they get that eaten down. They got a lot of that down. Hey, bud. And we had the roll of high tensile from when we were um, fencing this a few weeks ago. And it got grown up and we lost it and it looks like they found it <laughs> so that's awesome so we can start to get this clean up woohoo good job boys earning your keep today aren't you yeah are you ready to go back in it's getting to be supper time ironically if you look this is shorted out. It's touching the ground right there. But they stayed in. That's all that matters. All right, boys, I'm going to move your water in. And then um, we're going to get you put back for the night, okay? Supper's waiting. Are you gonna even want your supper?